Only causing a stir, Pippa Bradshaw with that report. Now, many of us have watched a loved one battle cancer and their struggle with the dreadful side effects of chemotherapy. But a clinical trial has shown that there is a better way with remarkable results. And at the forefront of this research is man's best friend. Here's Glenn Conley. He's got to be one of the most placid dogs and most patient dogs I've ever known in my life. They're just totally part of our family. Two families, two much-loved pets. Duke, a playful longhorn mastiff cross, and Jazz, a super affectionate 11-year-old golden retriever lab cross. These are no ordinary pooches. They're the furry faces of a groundbreaking cancer treatment which could soon change the way we treat cancer in humans forever. A few days before Christmas, we had the phone call saying it was malignant mel uh, melanoma. So it was in his mouth. Um, because it's in his mouth, we have no idea how long it's been there. And usually once it's in the mouth, it goes through the whole system. So they'd only sort of given him roughly about seven months to live. Devastating. When Jazz developed an incurable melanoma, he became so sick, owners Tanya and Ty Millen were told to think about putting him to sleep. His one chance of survival was to join a brand new trial which would involve the relatively painless process of allowing scientists to map his immune system. When they gave us the opportunity of doing the free trial, um, because there was no other option for him, uh, and, and he's 11 years of age, so they would have had to take out half his, his jawbone, so we decided that we'd go ahead with it. Jazz underwent daily blood tests, so Dr Noam Peak and his team could establish a tiny window when his immune system was at its most responsive. Two weeks later, he was given his chemo pill. There is a specific time in the immune cycle where the immune system is prone to changing the balance and the relationship to the tumour. It's not often you hear a scientist say he's amazed by the success of an experimental treatment. Initially it was too good to be true and when we were presented with this we thought, oh, you know, is this real? But what we're finding is that it is in fact real and we are seeing some uh, very clear cycles that are being mapped and definitely some amazing responses with some, uh, some pretty difficult cases. Probably half the size of a golf ball. His eye was almost half closed over. Lee and Peter Grogan's baby, Duke, was the first dog to take part in the trial after he developed inoperable bone cancer, which under normal circumstances would have claimed his life within weeks. It was our only hope of anything at all. The results were miraculous. Duke went from death's door to behaving like a puppy again. Uh, his particular type of tumour is uh, normally not very responsive to treatment and the response we had with Duke has just blown us away. Now, Dr Pick and his team are looking for more sick dogs to join the trial. If they can achieve results like Duke and Jazz, scientists will turn their attention to human cancer patients. We're using dogs at the moment as they are a lower barrier to entry into clinical trials, but the implication for humans would be very far. Immune mapping could begin in humans relatively quickly because it's not a new drug that requires testing, it's simply a test which tells us when existing drugs will really work. Rather than bombarding cancer with the medical equivalent of a machine gun, it would give doctors the precision of a pistol with the hope that just one pull of the trigger could wipe out a tumour. We definitely feel we're in a, on a verge of something extremely exciting and um, um, almost like the holy grail, almost too good to be true. For now, Dr Pick will continue to focus on man's best friend. Every pooch saved is a step closer to perhaps the greatest scientific challenge of our time, curing cancer. I'm just totally amazed and so grateful that Duke is alive. To be able to give life is one of the best things on the planet.